A popular tourist destination and means of transportation for people in the city of Johnstown should be reopening again soon. The incline plane has been shut down since April when Camtran says a routine inspection found some weak spots in a cable. This week, that cable is set to be replaced, and Maria Miller talked with Cam Tran today. She's live at the Incline Plane tonight with more. Maria? Marty, I want to give you a look. This is about as close as you'll ever get to the so-called glue that holds the Incline Plane cars on the track and hoists them up every up and down every day. This is five to ten tons of cable set to be installed here this week. You can see it's sprawled out across the road here. They're actually installing it right now and we're told this is the final piece needed to get this popular destination back up and running. It's the world's steepest inclined plane and arguably the city of Johnstown's most scenic spot. But the cars that travel up and down this hill have been sitting still since April. During routine maintenance, um, we had a cable inspection. Uh, the inspector saw some things that he wasn't quite sure of. Um, you know, he recommended we replace the cable. He didn't say it was uh, an immediate need, but proactively we chose to, to close the incline plane, get the cable replaced, um, you know, with, with customer safety in mind. The incline plane was built after the flood of 1889 to connect downtown Johnstown to the higher grounds of Westmont. It came in handy during the floods of 1936 and 77 as it was used to transport people and supplies into the city. It's now used mainly as a tourist destination and an educational spot for local schools. But so far this year, it's been closed more often than not. This is getting into the heavy tourism season for us. We had a lot of school field trips, a lot of group trips and, and tours that, uh, that we had on the books that we had to cancel. And um, it, it, it's been difficult for us. But Camtran says that shouldn't be an issue for much longer. We were there as crews got to work on Monday as it took a team of about 10 men and heavy machinery to unload these five ton spools of cable that we're told should take about a week to unravel and install. We're proactively replacing the hoist cable, which pulls the, the cars up and down the hill. Um, in addition, we're going to replace the safety cable while we, uh, while we have the project open and, and on the books. The project is estimated to cost a little more than $200,000, but it's something Camtron says would have needed to be done soon enough regardless as the cable generally needs replaced every 10 years. It's definitely met its useful life and, and just kind of part of the progression. So 10 years from now, we'll, we'll be right back here again. Again, this project should only take about a week. As soon as it's finished, Camtran says it will have these cars back up and running. Pending any glitches, the goal is to be back into full operating hours in time for the busiest week of the year when thousands of bikers come into town for Thunder in the Valley. Hard to believe that's only three weeks away. Reporting live in Johnstown, Maria Miller, 6 News.